top 3 ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, welcome back friends, even this week the amount of fake videos is very high, some are quite evident, others attributable to camera errors, and then there are those we take into consideration, which leave an aura of doubt and anguish on us all. If you like the content and are new to the channel, subscribe to not miss the next releases. So, let's start with the third in the standings. The Ghost of the Curious Child This video was shot by a tourist in 2008 in England. Posted on the YouTube channel named Spoachalike, which contains only three videos dating back to 2009, this video captures the Gypsy York Minster Cathedral during the day. The bells are ringing and the cameraman is filming the scene, let's see together what happened. From the beginning of the road the cameraman realizes that something is observing him and when he advances a few steps, he notices from a window what appears to be a child's face, but unnatural, with completely black inky eyes and almost looks like a white mask, similar to that of the character of the late 70s horror films Michael Myers. From the truly creepy images this strange face is looking out of a window in a house next to a Clarkson's menswear store. The Belfry is the name of the very old house which was built in the 17th century. From an analysis of the frames it seems that there has been no tampering with the original pixels, and also the dimensions of the face with respect to the context are perfectly consistent. We do not know if that house was inhabited at that time, the fact remains that it is not the first time that the city of York has told stories about the ghosts of children taken accidentally. In fact, the closed-circuit cameras of the pub York inside the Lamb and Lion on High Peter Gate capture spooky footage of ghostly child. This is the video posted on the official Facebook channel named Lamb and Lion Inn on October 25, 2019. The CCTV footage appears to show the ghost of a small girl wearing a dress in the meantime that a waitress clearing tables. The waitress, called Molly, is clearing tables on the morning of Wednesday, October 23 and appears unaware of the presence behind her, which was spotted by assistant manager Lee Smith. He says that customers at the pub, which adjoins the ancient city gateway of Bootham Bar, have reported previous paranormal activity, including a child crying in the room above. The historical complex has hosted a lot of history of the place, the listed buildings were put together to form the pub. One dates back to 1840 and was a house and shop, while the other, built in 1782, was the Bootham Bar Hotel. This is the English historic center that has experienced many tragic moments in history and it is really difficult to understand whether we are in front of real testimonies or skilled hoaxes. And you? What do you think about it? The Haunted Dog In second position we move to the city of Omaha in Douglas County, in the state of Nebraska, USA, where the Museum of Shadows is based. Located in a four-story building, this place is just recently voted as one of the most haunted museums in the world. The museum houses over 3,000 verified haunted artifacts, donated from not only across the United States but multiple countries. Visitors have reported being physically touched, seeing apparitions, hearing disembodied voices, children laughing, running and much more. Poltergeist activity has been caught and verified through many security cameras as well. Items used in extremely dangerous occult activities and diabolical practices from around the world. And among the most mysterious objects that this museum contains we will talk about a doll, owned by Nate and Kaylee Ratterman. The doll supposedly was made in Germany in the 1800s. Ida looks pretty and cute at first, but people become even more unsettled by the fact that she is missing her eyes. The couple bought the doll from a family, who claimed that the doll would appear in random places. After dumping her in a landfill, the doll mysteriously showed up at their home, and made family members uncomfortable. The Rattermans own a haunted museum, and have heard voices from the doll. Due to her extremely haunted self, the couple wears hazmat suits when handing her. The Rattermans chain that when in her presence, they feel ill with migraines and hangover-like symptoms. 
posted on January 26, 2022 on the official YouTube channel entitled, Museum of Shadows, the video shows one of the most disturbing testimonies of paranormal activity shown by another similar doll, sealed in a safety case. In the video, not only does the doll disarticulate the leg with different movements, but we can also see an orbs passing in front of the camera. The YouTube channel is also full of video testimonies about the serious strange events captured by the different CCTV located in the museum, especially during the night when the building is closed, anomalies that recently hit this place. If you are curious, I suggest you take a look at it. Unpleasant Manifestations The winner of our ranking for this week is a channel recently born on the social network TikTok, entitled Riverfront Haunting which since December 2021 has posted some videos that testify to a presence inside the home of Brandy, the owner of the channel. We have no information regarding the place, let's assume it is Matamoris, Pennsylvania due to the name Riverfront haunting an area known between New York and New Jersey for strong paranormal activity. Brandy is a woman who lives with her sister and his son and recently their home has showed some strange anomalies, like in these two videos that they managed to shoot. Girl, there ain't nothing back there, I'm telling you. Nothing back there, right? I told you. There's never. Oh my god! 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 And despite these strange anomalies and nocturnal manifestations, something much worse happens. So. Me and my kid just got back from eating dinner, and my bedroom light is on, which is strange because I don't remember leaving it on. Are you sure? Um, yeah, I'm sure I didn't leave it on. Come on. Listen, I'm going to walk inside real fast. I want you to wait out here for me. I'll stay right by the door. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, I want you, oh my god. Somebody broke an arm. Yeah. I don't know. Mom, go. Oh. Jaden, yeah, it is. Go, go next door. Go next door and get your IC, okay? If you hear me scream, y'all hear me scream, call 911. Okay. Okay? The video we saw reached 7 million views in just two months. In the comments many declare that it is a probable thief, a person who wants to play a joke but Brandy explains that there was no one in the house and to prove her honesty she shoots a video where her sister tries to simulate the shadow. Okay, so... Walk, baby. I know there's no room. Walk back the other way. Yeah, I definitely feel like I can tell you you have a head, like you're a person. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hello. <laughs> uh, also, I think the biggest question was, why did I go inside and not call 911? Well, as you can see, I sent my son next door to my sister's house, and I told him if he heard me scream to call 911. Um, I was pretty confident in myself. Um, I really did not know what was going on. Uh, in the back of your mind, you're always like, oh no, like it's nothing. Like it's fine. It's fine. Excuse me. Um, I w but primarily I was concerned for my dogs. So I needed to be able to get in there to them, which is what I did. And I, I don't regret it. Looking back, should I have done things differently? Sure, but I grew up in a neighborhood where you don't call the police unless you need to call the police.
you just don't do it. Given the bizarre way of reacting the woman that seems spontaneous, the fact remains that we need more material in order to be able to declare phenomena attributable to the paranormal sphere with greater certainty. Also for tonight our appointment ends here, I renew the invitation to follow us on our social networks and on our YouTube channel where you will find all our episodes ordered on playlists, thank you for watching, good night.